Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Paper Mario! Last time! We defeated Toot and Koopa, got the second Star Spirit, and Peach learned about the location of the third Star Spirit! This episode, well, you Hawkeye viewers have just saw that I have bought something from this particular store. Well, I'm gonna store this Wackus Bump over here so I don't be tempted to use it by mistake. I'm only serving, saving it for emergencies, but... I bought this thing, the Tasty Tonic. A very tasty tonic, cures poisoning and shrinking. We're going to be needing this for what we're going to be doing today, which is, of course, side questing. There's not going to be any outright story progress, but yeah, side questing is what we're going to be doing today. And of course, like I said, I bought a tasty tonic because, well, for side quest purposes. If you do not have the coins to get the, get the tasty tonic, you might as well have to go over here for, to taste tea and have her bake either a lemon or a lime, considering that's available to you in Dry Dry Outpost to be able to do it, and that's your alternate way of getting a tasty tonic. I'm gonna cook this egg because I can, because... Well, I wanna cook an egg. And when you when you know it, it's going to create... Um, if you could get it, please. A fried egg! You don't need this right now, I just want to do it because I can't- I want to have something to do with my egg. But yeah, anyway. So, another thing that we- I need to note is that this batch shop. I have found out something on how it shuffles. Oh, it's a different item payout for this this time, but... So, let's say there's nothing that you want here because let's... Because, well, there's there's a badge you know it is, but it's not in the lineup. You, If you have the coins, you might as well buy something if you can afford it. For example, if I were to buy this Sleep Stomp, this will have this, have this slot be empty. But if you need you need to leave the town in any capacity. A capacity? No, a capacity. Like, going through the Toad Town sewers, and then come back here. This slot will f be filled with whatever badges that the shop has available to them. So, if you don't see a badge, you might as well buy one here if you have the money for it. Because chances are, you need to leave the town via the Toad Town sewers to get a new badge from there. Anyway, speaking of the sewers, that's going to be our first stop, which I'm going to switch to Goombario in just in case. But yeah. We might as well have to go to the sewers, because that is our first stop for what we're going to be doing today. Because, now that we have our super hammer, we can be able to break this block, which we couldn't even do that before. Blooper! This right here, is an electro blo blooper. First off, I'm gonna sh start off with a shrink stop and hopefully drain his attack power. Okay, that didn't work. Gumbario, I'm gonna need you anyway, so tell him first. This is an Electro Blooper. Electro Bloopers are electric charged. Max HP 50, attack power 4, defense power 0. A bit of advice, when they're emitting electricity, it'd be a smart move to avoid contact with them. If you can manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, they'll go back to normal. Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is 6. Let's try to be careful. What do you, what do you say? Okay, hopefully- Uh, he's- Okay! Thanks, Merle. Thanks for the for the defense e decrease. Oh, and I blocked it with no damage whatsoever. This is gonna be great. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start off with a power bounce. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six, six. Okay, Gumbario. Um, I'm gonna have you charge for a little bit to increase your attack power. Okay, um, he is charging up. Something tells me that I probably should have saved some item- uh, yeah, I probably should have. Okay, I'm gonna test something. Okay, good. Uh, it's worth it to take some damage just so you can cancel off the charge, even if it means- Even if it means, well, damaging yourself. If you have no choice, you might as well do it. Okay. Uh. Oh, four damage! Well, I might as well do a little power bounce. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, Goombario, let loose! That was not letting loose, but okay. Okay, now he's charging up again. Okay. I might as well refresh. No, I'm gonna go can- I have to go cancel out that charge. There we go, yeah. I know, really dumb move, but what can you do? Okay, 
I have Gumbario charge again. And... And... Blocked! Okay. Okay, now for a little power bouncing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not as much as I hope, but okay. I'm gonna have him charge again. And that is pretty much all of our FP. Our FP is shot for today. Okay, now he's charging up. I'm gonna go have to cancel that out. Any attack at all will work, even if it means damaging yourself in the process. Okay. Okay, Goombario, let loose once again. I said let loose, and I totally missed. That can't be good. Well, looks like it is time for us to refresh our spirits. Okay, let's do this, Eldstar. There we go. Okay, Gumbario. Maybe it's a, maybe it's the timing. Yeah, I totally flubbed the timing that those last two ones. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have to heal up for a little bit. And looks like we're gonna be without a partner for for a little bit. At least it was worth it because it's two damage. And it's only one turn. As long as I can hold up, I should be fine. Okay, let's let's do a power bounce. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was hoping I would break my personal record, but nope. I'm pretty sure he's almost down anyway. Just just some more damage would be nice. I probably should have done power jump, but I don't really care right now. Uh, Gumbario, I'm just not gonna press anything. There we go. <laughs> 22 star points. It wasn't that hard. It could have gone better, but hey, what can you do? Our reward for being the blooper this time around. Three warp pipes. Oh, and this thing right here. Might as well go in here before we do anything else. Ooh. Okay, let's go here and we get ourselves a snowman doll. It crashes all enemies with the power of ice. That's pretty nice. Let's see what's in here. Um, okay. I'm, I wasn't sure if I was going to tackle any sewer exploring, but okay. I guess we are exploring sewers and we can't do anything with this one. Darn. If only we had a powerful hammer that's more powerful than the ones we do have. I'm gonna ignore you two spike gloombas for now. Instead, I'm gonna go over here. And should I take them on now? Well... Uh, these enemies I've seen before. Hey, we got a dizzy dial! This par temporarily paralyzes all enemies if successful. And within this treasure chest, it contains a power smash badge. Basically, a hammer version of the power jump. You know how this goes. You know what? Let's snowman these people. Let's do it. Christmas is here! Except not really. <laughs> I just love the animation to this, this attack. It's too funny. Anyway. Hold on a moment. I realize. That Paragloomba over here does not have... Does not have their HP displayed. I'm, I better go fix that. Okay, so. I'm gonna defeat this Spike Gloomba so I don't have to worry about him. And... Bombette... You switch over to Goombario because I want you to. And okay, by the way, 69. <laughs> I'm so immature. This is a Paragloomba. Paragloombas are nasty winged Gloombas to, to make their home in Toad Town Tunnels. Man, Max HP 7, you know this already from Goombas. It's like Paragloombas, Paragloombas. Ah, uh, Paragloombas, Paragloombas. Not. Lose their wings when attacked, they fall and become Gloombas. So basically, all the standard stuff for Gloombas, I think we know how the world works in, with these things already. Let's just go finish this off. Boink! And now, let's go... There we go. 79 star points. I don't know if I should take on any more just so I could get that coveted level up. I mean, there were, there were a couple of Gloombas over there, but I'm not really sure if I should take them on. 
Anyway, uh, oh, there we are. Uh. Well, that worked. At least we have three turns to, to be free to do whatever you want. Thanks, Merly! I hope this will be enough to kill the Gloomba. Yes, it is! Thank you, Merly! I could just kiss you right now, but I don't think I can because I'd be kissing the TV screen. You know what? I'm really feeling it! Let's take on this other one! Wait a minute. I just realized something. I still have the Spike Shield badge on. Whoops. I feel dumb. Okay, so I realized this was going to be a side quest thing. At least it was a supposed. In awkward news, I thought that my audio recording program has frozen in the middle of the recording, so I thought I was going to lose some audio because things might have happened. But the good news is, if I win this fight, I might get a level up! Don't count me on this one, folks. I could be wrong about this. I did bump into to an enemy within the footage I probably am going to fast forward to up to this point. I hope I get a level up. Because, uh, based on that, I don't think I am. Unless this drops like... Nope. Oh! Merly, you come through to me once again! That's enough for a level up, yes! Level up! Okay, well, I'm going to level up my BP because I want to use more badges. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, this is where we found a star piece up in there if we use Paracarry and if we... Went over that way. Yeah, I wanted to show that show that off, but oh my god. Yeah, but that was what I wanted to show show if had had I not had well audio program recording problems, but that's beside the point. Anyway, so these three pipes, what do they lead to? Well if we take this one. Welcome back to Dry Dry Outpost! We could be able to visit previous areas as much as we as we like without well. Well, going through all the trouble of going through the trip. Why am I keep going down the pipe again? I am... I am... I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, we can be able to visit previous areas without having to go through all that. So we don't have to worry about it. Welcome back to, back to Koopa Village. And guess what? I was planning to go here anyway because it dropped us off right in front of the Koopa Koot's house. Okay, Koopa Koot, let's see what you, what you have for us this time. Uh, no. Uh, I... Okay, let's see what he wants. The other day I went shopping at Koopa's shop in the village. But on the way home I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory's kinda sketchy, but I think I remember talking to a guy who listened to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but I, when I got home I realized it was gone. I'm hyperventilating. I must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. Well, good sir. If we go over to this, this way, we could be able to... Well, I need a Koopa leaf because... You're going to need a Koopa Leaf in the future. There we go. But, if you check in uh, more of the bushes over here... We, we got an empty wallet. That's Koopa Koot's wallet, so we might as well return it to him right now. Okay, so... Let's return Let's return the wallet to him. Oh, thanks, Star Haven. You saved me again, Mario. You seem to have a nose for finding things. Take this as thanks. Yeah, he's gonna give us one coin. Okay, let's see what he has for us this time. If you find the time, I really have a craving for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old beak. Yes, indeed. Fetch me a cold one, would you? I parched over here. I have your word, young fella. We just so happen to be carrying one. Hurry, piranhas! You're like a psychic, Mario! This is exactly what I wanted! That's just gesture my gratitude and generosity. Take this! We get one coin. And now, the last favor for the chapter. I've heard through Grafgrig the Grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune living on Shooting Star Summit. Fortune teller. So if you would, 
I want you to hike up there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along from me now. I can barely wait. You promised to hurry. Well, time for us to head off over to Shooting Star Summit. But before we do that, I want to head over to this pipe over here because... Welcome back to Goomba Village! Because, if you recall, we have a letter to Goom Goompapa. Howdy, Mario! How you doing? You're a Goompapa, correct? Name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Okay, so let's get the letter back to Goompapa. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, postal worker. Oh, great news! Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is a friend who's playing for a fishing trip. I can't wait! Oh, sorry pile work on you, but I could've given you a letter. It's, if, if it's all possible for you, could you deliver this to Toad named Musty? He getting hangs around the castle garden. I'd really appreciate it. We got the letter! Okay, so we need to deliver it to Musty at Princess Peach's castle. Which is just perfect, because... You know, while we're on our way to Peach's castle and by extension, Shooting Star Summit, we might as well take a visit to Merlon, because if I, if you recall, we also had a letter picked up to his, his address as well. Yes, Paracary, yes, we have his letters. Hmm? Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, it's my granddaughter, Merle. She's recently entered the family business. <sighs> Is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quite off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy, that's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Yay! Yep, that's all taken care of. But now, we have another letter to take care of and it's in the, on the way there. Yeah, how efficient. Anyway, you are the toad that's by Peach's castle. You are must tea. Okay, let's deliver this letter. Oh, it's from the Goompapa! What a fair old codger! We think alike, he and I! It's been ages since I saw him. Too long indeed. This reminds me, I was just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing is perfect. This letter's to my friend. His name is Coover and he lives in Koopa Village. I'd like you to deliver us to him. I bet he's near the entrance of the village. He usually hangs out in front of the toad house that's right at the edge of town. No big rush, but it would be nice, nice if you got it soon. Okay, so at least we're going to be going back to Koopa Village in Koopa Village so that we can be able to deliver this letter. Anyway, so... We're, we're going to be taking a visit to the Shooting Star Summit to visit Merlovely, because he wants his autograph for some reason. Hey, who wouldn't want an autograph? Anyway, upon entering... Hey, here's a chest we've seen before. Remember that, that internal question of Peach not knowing where the other chest is? Yeah, you can get your badges here. Your Power Rush and Deep Focus badges. And I did rant about why didn't she just go in here herself, but then again, that would ruin every the plot and stuff, but whatever. Anyway, what do you have to say? Ah, oh, my, my, hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune-telling, blah, 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 blah. Excuse me? You want my autograph? My, my, mercy. Are you sure it's mine, mine you want? You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? Of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph in one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in the back alley of Dry Dry Outpost. Her name is Merle. Well, Mario, would you? Well, looks like I know where we're going, which means we're gonna have to go back to Dry Dry Outpost. But, which means... A trip to the sewers! However, before we do that, I might as well take a visit to Koopa Village because the pipe is nearby and Coover should be right around the entrance and we might as well take care of that now. Okay, so Coover, you should be right around this area. Um, there you go. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, thanks. You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place to set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's a friend of mine who's always fishing at Toad Town Port. He's easy to find. Thanks again. We got a letter at, to Fish Mail at Toad Town Port. So, we want to go- we're gonna go back to Toad Town in a little bit, but first... 
We're gonna have to, well, go to Dry Dry Outpost to visit Mer Merly. We're back at Dry Dry Outpost. Before, but before we do that, I might as well do do something I've been I forgot about. If you hit this tree, here's the letter to more tea at Koopa Village. I was just there. Well, that should that is that felt awkward be, that I forgot about this. But hey, at least we're gonna go back there anyway to complete the offer from from Koopa Coot. Anyway, let's go talk to Merly. My older sister, Mer Lovely. What she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh, oh okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely with love from her sis, Merly. We got the crystal ball from her, so now we can be able to well get this autograph back to well, no, get Mer Lovely's autograph. So with that, let's go in back to Shooting Star Summit. Here we are, and I get to Shooting Star Summit to visit Mer Lovely. Okay. Oh mercy, thank you! I'll cherish this. And for you, here's my autograph. As promised, it'll be valuable someday. Well, at least it's better than Luigi's. Okay, so with that, let's get back to Koopa Koot and deliver it to, to Mort T. Oh yeah, the letter to Mort T. Okay, so let's go back to Koopa Village to complete this favor for Koopa Koot. Jumping Jungle Fuzzies! You're peerless, Mario! My word, good gracious! Oh my, oh my, what a beautiful handwriting! Be still, my heart! Uh, that is... This'll be the heart of my collection! You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors! This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks! Don't tell anybody, though! It's... Three star pieces! So at least it's all not a waste of time! So now... Before we go on, move onward, and I think we're done with the preparations, I think not, but still... Before we go, oh, oh my god, Chuck Quizmo, yes! Quiz! Hello, everyone! Wanna take the quiz? Okay, let's see what the question is this time. Which of Mario's battle commands is on the far left? Crap, I did not think this through. Oh, left? That's easy, strategies! I forgot, I forgot the battle layout, but I forgot the battle layout, but then I remembered strategies is on the far left. <laughs> Okay. Chuck Quizmo, you're just so gracious. Anyway, so, where is this must tea, dare you ask? Or more tea? Um, are you more tea? You're the only toad here. Oh, yes, you are! Okay, so. A letter from me? Oh, it's from my wife! How sweet! I love her so! <sighs> oh, pardon me, I just got really wrapped up in there. That wife of mine, she's so cute, she makes me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? Starbeast! Oh, I thought there was going to continue a chain of letters, but no. It's, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I was referring, that was another letter to Mort T. In fact, oh yeah, fish mail at Toadport. You know what? I think that for the rest of this episode, we're going to be finishing the... Hold on a moment. I gotta go think of something real quick. Nope, not what I'm thinking. Okay, so with that, you know what? That letter chain event, I'm going to complete it as much as I can. To the point where we can't do that anymore. Okay, so first of all, that letter. We need to go to fish mail at Toad Town Port. And where precisely is Toad Town Port? Well, we're gonna be going to the leftmost side of the town. Well, if we go here, one well, here of course, but still, to the left side of town, we go. Okay, so, who is this Fishmail guy? Well, Fishmail is pretty unique. It's this guy. Stay still, curse your hide, oh hook with a Swell heart only a minute, you blasted little wriggler. Cut it out now, hair, I ain't going to be banked. Leave off, come on now. Address to person fishing at port, ah, this must be you. The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on for a moment. Okay, uh, the fish meal looks funny. Mm, what's this then? Show me timbers! Word from Cover! Must he said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me. I forgot a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Hmm? Why, the Koopa Trooper asked you to bring this letter. Koopa's the name. Yeah, and take good care for your love of fishes. We have to bring it back to Coover in Koopa Village. 
Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys at Koopa Village then. Okay, so, here you are, Coover. Okay, so let's get your letter to you. Oh, thanks! Cool! It's from my pal! This must be the answer to my last letter! Thanks for the speedy delivery! Now I can send letters to the whole gang! It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up by the storm! I've already written one here, can you take it? It's the Mr. E who lives in the desert! He's most likely to be hanging out in front of the Toad House. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice them right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Okay, on to Dry Dry Outpost to meet with this Mr. E, a toad that wears a turban. Like, that doesn't sound anything like... I don't know, I'm not gonna get more into that. Okay, Mr. E, where are you? Uh, the Toad House is this way. Okay, there we go. There, there is Mr. E, the blue turban toad. I am gonna be so offensive with this accent, but I don't really care right now. Gee, thanks! Oh, it looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering letters from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this to a letter next time you're in Toad Town? It's the Miss T. She lives there. She's one of three amazingly beautiful sinners. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot! Okay, more Toad Town business. Okay, so let's go here and talk to one of these three girls. Uh, which one's... Which one is Miss T? You are Miss T, correct? Oh, first try, too. Who is this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. But enough about me. It's so lucky you just came just now, Miss Proposeman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner at Dry Dry Outpost. I order lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's not easy. This thing is beautiful. It takes a lot of work. Would you please deliver this? Thanks. We're getting a little run around here. Okay, here we are back at Dry Dry Desert where we need to go to the item shop and deliver it to the mouser that runs it. Welcome, traveler. Oh, wait, no, I need to trigger the dot. There we go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is an order sheet from the, one of my regulars. Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you, can be you can't beat the desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the oasis. Oh, if you make juice with those things. Mmm. Oh, hang on. I almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Please deliver this letter to a boo called Frankly. Or Frankie. Frankie lives in the mansion way out in the far edge of the Forever Forest. It may be tough to find him. Thanks. And that's where this side quest chain is going to stop for now, because we don't have access to that area yet. In fact, if we look at the address... Um... Boo's Mansion? We can deliver to, to your par partner, Paratroopa. Blah, blah, blah. Boo's Mansion. Yeah. We... We were told in the in the previous episode that th that the invincible tub of blubba and by extension the star spirits lives somewhere where he can eat ghosts. That sounds like a place where he where ghosts are readily available. You know, Boo's mansion, which means it's just on our way. So we might as well t take care of this letter while we're on our way, while we're there. With that, I think that's all the preparations we have while going on right now. So next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna be going over to. Well, this place. Ah! <laughs> Just now, it goes past by in front of me. Uh, you saw it, didn't you? Yes. I, I'm not the only one. Over there. No, the other way. It went into the forest. M Mario, this madness has to end. Would you go to the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't do. I'm too frightened of ghosts. P please, I'm begging you. Well, at least you now know what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>